Welcome, everybody watching on the WNBA app. It is the 2024 Athletes Unlimited Pro Basketball Closing Ceremony as we put a bow on exciting season number three alongside the Hall of Famer Cheryl Swoops. I am Cindy Brunson. Savannah Collins is our mistress of ceremonies as we get ready to open the Book of Unlimited and put some new names in. We've got to name a defensive player of the year, a newcomer of the year as well, and of course the confetti will fly. In the ga second game of our doubleheader, Odyssey Sims was able to move up the leaderboard to finish in the second spot behind the winner, Alicia Gray, winning that game 103 to 75. It was Gray finishing with a season low 19, but she didn't need many points because she had done her work early. And with that, I think we're going to kick it over to Savannah Collins with Alicia Gray. Alicia, you are the 2024 AU Pro Basketball Champion. You're a national champion. You're a WNBA All-Star. You're an Olympic gold medalist. But how does this gold medal fit into the story of your career? Well, it's right there. What I mean, you work really hard every game. I mean, there's great athletes here, great competitors. So it definitely wasn't easy. But I mean, I appreciate, I appreciate all honors. So I'm definitely proud of this one. You have been on the top week after week. How do you handle the pressure of the target on your back all season? Well, I just came out and just played my game. I just continued hooping. Uh, I was able to play with great players. I uh, had great teammates that helped me stay on leaderboard and win games. So it wasn't just a one person job. Me, my teammates each week helped me stay up on the leaderboard. While you may not make a lot of noise, your performances do. How has being a captain challenged you to step into a leadership role, be more vocal, and maybe see some new sides of yourself as a hooper? Well, I was able to continue being myself. I know I get. Uh, a lot of people be on me about like, oh, like you need to talk more and that. But I mean, my my game does the speaking for me. I mean, my game speaks loud for me. I'm a leader by example. So, I mean, I I'm not gonna change who I am. I mean, I've been a pro for eight years. So I mean, it's getting the job done. I mean. Atlanta loves it, so I mean, I'm just continuing being me and, and doing what I do best, and that's get buckets on the court. And we like you exactly as you are as our champion this season. It's one thing to be an elite player, but it's another to master this AU system, the drafts, changing teams, being a captain. How have you figured it out, what it takes to win this thing? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little stressful. After week one, I lost lost Tiff and Tosh, then my AU Avengers, we got disassembled. I mean, it was definitely tough, but I mean, just like I say, it was a lot of great players in this in this league. So I mean, the draft was stressful, but the games were fun and competitive. So I enjoy every last bit of it. How have you grown most this season? Uh, just continue finding myself as a player. I mean, I feel like each year I elevate my game, and I definitely elevated my game from last year to this year for AU. So I, I look to continue to pass that on into the season. But I mean, I had fun. Gold medal leash times two. Congratulations again, Alicia. Thank you. Thank Back to Cindy and Cheryl. Thanks so much, Savannah. Congratulations, Alicia Gray, getting it done once again. And there was just no doubt, Cheryl, she created so much separation, creating so many record-setting scenarios. A string of four 30-point games in a row, an AU record. She was voted MVP one nine times this season. Whenever she had to score points, she did, and she did it with ease. Yeah, Alicia made it look easy. Even shots that were difficult. She was so good all season long. From the very first game, she was on a mission. She set the tone early, and she put everyone on notice that she was coming for that top spot. Now she's texting like her life depends on it. I wonder who's on the receiving end of that. Like, hey, I just won another gold medal. She's doing MVP voting. Oh, there you go. Yeah, That's right. right. We still got to do that. <laughs> Time to kick it over to our public address announcer here at the Fair Park Coliseum, Scott Garner. Scott, take it away. Fans, it's time to present the awards for Athletes Unlimited Pro Basketball Season 3. Joining the players on the court, 
Welcome Athletes Unlimited co-founder and CEO, John Patrickall. And presenting the medals tonight, the Athletes Unlimited Player Executive Committee for Basketball, Chairperson Lexi Brown and members Lexi Hall, Rebecca Harris, Sydney Colson, and Teresa Playsongs. Also on the PEC, but not with us tonight, we recognize Kirby Burkholder. To say a few words on behalf of the PEC, Teresa Playsongs. for speeches <laughs> but I just like to say on behalf of all the athletes here thank you so much for showing up and showing out for us this year has been absolutely incredible you guys have came cheered your hearts out and really pushed us to be the best that we could be on court so again we couldn't be here without you guys thanks for making all this possible and uh, we just appreciate you guys Thank you, Teresa. It's time to present the awards. First, we'd like to recognize the players who have been named to the 2024 Athletes Unlimited Pro Basketball All-Defensive Team, as voted on by the players and facilitators. Here they are. Guard, Natasha Cloud. Forward, Leticia Ami here. Forward, Emily Inksler. Guard, Lexi Hall. And guard, Sydney Colson. Congratulations to all of you. It's time to give away some hardware. First up, the Defensive Player of the Year. This award was voted on by players, facilitators, and Unlimited Club members. This AU newcomer had a record-setting season, setting a new league mark for block shots in a season, and tying the league's single-game rebound record. The 2024 Defensive Player of the Year is... Forward, number 21, Emily Eichler. <laughs> Emily played this season for the Virago Project. Our next award is for Newcomer of the Year. This award was voted on by the athletes and facilitators. A six-time game MVP recipient, this AU newcomer secured 20 or more points 10 games in a row, including 29 points against Team Cloud in week two. The 2024 Newcomer of the Year is guard number 25, Tiffany Mitchell. <laughs> Tiffany played this season for my block, my hood, my city. Now it's time for the Athletes Unlimited Leaderboard Awards. This third-year AU veteran stands as the league's all-time leader in assist and is a medalist for the second time in her career. Guard number nine, Natasha Cloud.
Natasha's playing for Palestinian youth movement. A two-year AU in third place, a two-year AU pro basketball veteran. This guard claimed game MVP seven times and scored 20 or more points eight times. Guard number 69, Kirsten Bell. Kirsten playing for the Shaquille O'Neal Foundation. In second place, the all-time leaderboard points record holder in AU Pro Basketball, she earned a medal for the second straight season and secured game MVP honors four times in 2024. Guard number 99, Odyssey Sims. He played for the One Love Foundation. And in first place, after finishing in fourth place during her first AU season last year, she's elevated her game to become the league's leading scorer in her second campaign. Guard number 17, Alicia Gray. playing for the CB's Heart Foundation. We'd love to hear a few words from our champion. Uh, I really ain't one for speeches. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, I'm just gonna hold it. Um, first, I just want to thank my mom and dad. Uh, they're sitting right there. <laughs> uh, I mean, anytime I get an accolade in my life, uh, it's special because that's my way of paying back my parents. I mean, they sacrifice so much when they could be doing anything else with their life, and they choose to dedicate their time to me to get me to where I'm at and am today. So I really appreciate my parents. I love y'all for that. <laughs> uh, special shout out to AU. I mean, this is my second year in every year. I mean, it's been fun for me. Uh, it helps me prepare for the W. Also, special shout out to the players. I mean, playing against you and with you was fun. I feel like coming out of AU every year, y'all make me a better player, especially Tasha. I always like y'all <laughs> dealing with y'all. But overall, I mean, it was competitive. It was fun. And, uh, can't wait, can't wait, but that's it. Thank y'all. All right, let's have our champion take center court. Congratulations to all of the players on an incredible season. And once again, please get on your feet. Let's hear it for your 2024 Athletes Unlimited Pro Basketball Champion, Alicia Gray.
And with that, we get ready to close the book of Unlimited for the basketball season three. The calligrapher is inscribing our champion's name, a tradition that takes place for every champion across all sports. The Book of Unlimited will travel on to each sport, heading next to AUX Softball in Wichita, Kansas. Thank you to our partners, the Dallas Sports Commission, the facilitators, staff and athletes, and to all the fans who have come out over the past four weeks. It's been a great season of Athletes Unlimited Pro Basketball here in Dallas. Thanks for being here. Good night. Season three for Athletes Unlimited Women's Basketball. Four weeks, four teams, 40 world-class athletes. Let's go, season three! This is going to be a great season. Every possession counts, every moment. It's playoff intensity every quarter. Natural.